Hey, 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 how we do everybody? This is Let's Be Real Brad, and today I'm gonna be talking about the new South Korean action horror film, Train to Busan Presents Peninsula. Or just Peninsula, because America has to have these dumb presents things because we suck. <laughs> Peninsula is the sequel. Four years later, we're finally getting it, and is a standalone sequel from the first film. I really enjoyed it. Now, that's not going to be saying that there isn't a lot of issues, but I think overall Peninsula is a really enjoyable film. First off, if you really don't like subtitles, you probably shouldn't watch this movie because it is a South Korean film. Personally, it didn't bother me in the slightest. I, I mean, if you get bothered by subtitles, just grow up, please grow up. I think the film is so enjoyable because it actually has characters we care about. Sure, they're not the most deep or complex or emotionally driven characters that we've seen in these kind of films before, but I feel like they actually gave them something to do and actually gave them a backstory. Even if it's not done super well, they actually tried with all these characters and I thought that was a really enjoyable aspect because by the end of the film I was caring about the action, I was caring about the situations these characters were in. Not super deeply, but just enough to get me invested with everything that's happening in this film. So that is a couple of great points to them. This action is awesome. I love the action in the first Train to Busan film. I thought it was excellent and it really just got so intense in some points in the film that I was so locked in. This film, not as much, but I'm gonna try my best not to compare it to the first film because the first film feels more of like a apocalyptic zombie film, more of a straight edge horror film, and this one has a lot more of the action, kind of like the alien to aliens kind of aspect. No, not the same? Okay, let's keep going. I really enjoy how it's all shot, and again, the zombies look excellent. I love how they can just run on their hands and just jump and attack people. I thought it was just, super cool they really use a lot of great makeup and the actors themselves do an awesome job and considering they don't just cgi at all it is really impressive i really enjoy the car chase sequences even though there's a lot of cgi used and you can tell there's a lot of cgi used which is an issue but honestly it all looks really good in a good amount of the movie and it's really entertaining and it's shot well so I can't really complain too much about the CGI, even though it's a little bit distracting when you're watching the film. But I think also what I like is the cinematography. There are points in this film where it's so dark and you feel the atmosphere of this film, especially when they go to this place of Peninsula, which is this rundown, dragged, apocalyptic world of just zombies living there and people just having their own civilization, but there's different kinds of people there, which I thought was an interesting point to have in this film. But what I think at times the cinematography is pretty good, but there are times where there's this artificial lighting that is very distracting. And sometimes it has a nice look to it. And maybe if there's a 4K version, maybe that can kind of clear up a little bit. But when I was watching it, it was a little distracting because it felt very artificial where it didn't feel like it was truly in the nighttime and it really only happened when there's a lot of CGI used because when it's just the actors on screen the live action it looks tremendous and there's one moment in the film the cinematography really does shine in these moments so definitely gonna get props to that I mean if we're gonna talk about issues I think it's just the lack of depth of the characters where I thought the characters from the first film were better even though they're not super deep as well I thought I really cared about them a lot more than I do in this film. I think there's a too big of an abundance of characters where there's just so many little bit subplots going on and some of them aren't really fleshed out. So by the end, you feel like it was just kind of all there and it really wasn't for anything. I also think there's a lot of inappropriate uses of music throughout the film where it's just very dramatic and it's over the top and it just didn't work it's very manipulative because if you don't really care as much as you think you should the music drowns in so it's really sad or really happy and it's just trying to trigger an emotion out of you and I was just not feeling it and it just felt very inappropriate in those moments I think the movie is a little too long I think a lot of it could have been shaved off there's moments where I feel like towards the third act, they really could have chopped a lot of it because they really extend it. And it just feels like they're going for this big, you know, superhero 
kind of blockbuster film that it is. And I don't know. I just didn't particularly like that. But I will say this is a really enjoyable film. And it does have a lot of issues. But I think some of its positives really outweigh it. And I had a really good time at the theater. I mean, the pacing is really good. The editing is really solid. And I felt as though it actually felt like it was a part of this universe even though it didn't do a whole lot to really expand on the universe i thought it was just still an enjoyable action horror film that kind of what i was expecting seeing some tidbits of the trailer so i'm gonna give this film a six out of ten let me know have you guys seen peninsula are you gonna see peninsula have you seen train of busan i don't know just comment something if you really enjoy this video, please like, share the video, please subscribe if you haven't already. It really means a lot to everybody, to me, that you guys have subscribed. You guys have been amazing. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.